Hello everyone. In today's session, we'll solve a 2012 previous year question from the topic Indian Monsoon. Now the question is like this and the, the two aspects of the monsoon has been given as two statement question here. The first of all, it's the duration of the monsoon and second one, the annual rainfall. Now let's uh, talk about uh, Indian monsoon and first of all, a very important factor which can influence the Indian monsoon which is intertropical convergence zone or it's also called as ITCZ. Now certain things you have to remember regarding ITCZ, I'm not going in detail regarding the ITCZ. Certain very important things that you need to remember regarding IT season. It's a low pressure region and as the name suggests, in the tropical, means within the tropical, convergent zone, where the winds are converging. So IT season is region where or within tropical, these are the zones where the winds are converging. So if you remember the, uh, the prevailing winds, the winds at these regions, they are the trade winds, the northern trade wind and the southern trade wind. So the northern trade wind and southern trade wind converge at the IT season and whenever the winds converge, they always rise up, leaving behind low pressure regions near to the surface. So the, these low pressure regions we call it as IT season. So you have to remember that IT season, they are formed due to the convergence of wind and plus like you know they are low pressure regions. Now another very important factor which influences the formation of IT season is the insulation or the, the sunlight coming from sun, right, the radiation coming from sun. So when you, like, you know, if you are having heating created because of the sun, these regions will be having low pressure regions. So the IT season is dependent on the convergence of wind and the heating done by the sun or you can say incoming solar radiation. Now another basic thing that you need to remember regarding IT season is that it the position of the ITC set it's not fixed rather than that they change their latitude they shift from one latitude to another latitude for example uh, during like the June period when we are having summer in the northern hemisphere the IT season will be more towards the northern hemisphere and when we are having summer in the southern hemisphere that is during the say December we'll be having IT season IT set set will be shifting its position towards the south so you can say that IT season will be shifting its position according to the movement or the apparent movement of the sun and more details on the apparent movement of sun you can refer to our YouTube channel just search the movement of earth neo years and you shall get the video regarding the rotation and revolution of the earth around the sun and in that video we will discuss the apparent movement of sun anyway Due to the apparent movement of the sun, or you can say simply the seasons, different seasons, the IT season changes its position from one latitude to another latitude. It doesn't go all the way to the northern pole or southern pole or anything, rather than like uh, as given in this picture, right? They'll be moving towards the north uh, during the northern hemisphere summer and they'll be moving towards south during the southern hemisphere summer, right? Now, let's see how the movement of this IT season is related with the Indian monsoon. Now during the summer time, like during June, we will be having southwest monsoon winds which are blowing from the Indian Ocean towards the land region. And the same during those summer season, we will be having the IT season which is a low pressure region situated over the Indian subcontinent as well as the say Tibetan plateau and those continental regions. So as you might be knowing, the low pressure region will be attracting winds towards it and the high pressure regions will be repelling the winds. Okay. So since IT season is a low pressure region, and now during the summer seasons, it is uh, positioned over the Indian subcontinent. It will be attracting winds from the uh, Indian Ocean and that we call it as the Southwest Monsoon. Now opposite to this, like during the winter season, that is like say starting from November to December, right? The IT season will be moving towards the north, I mean sorry, moving towards the south. So what happens is that the winds will be blowing towards the south and that we call it as say retreating monsoon or more popular word is Northeast Monsoon wind. And you have to understand that both the southwest monsoon wind and the northeast uh, monsoon wind they are actually trade winds itself. During southwest monsoon wind, the southern trade wind is crossing equator and coming towards Indian subcontinent. And during the winter monsoon or during the northeastern monsoon, uh, the northern trade wind is going towards the southern hemisphere. And why they are moving like this? Because of the shifting of the IT season. So you have to imagine that. As the ITCZ is going up, the winds will be going upward. And if you if you remember regarding, I mean, if you remember the characteristics of monsoon, like you know, the 
all regions in India is not getting monsoon all, all at the same time. Rather than that, the monsoon will be making onset more progressively, right? The first of all, the monsoon will be making onset in the Malabar coast, right? Later on, like it will be advancing towards the northern latitude and that is because of the shifting of ITC set, right? During the summer monsoon, I mean summer season, the ITC set will be going up and the uh, monsoon also will be, the monsoon winds also will be following them, right? So, uh, in order to understand that, during June 1st, we'll be having the monsoon will begin or will make onset in the Malabar coast. At the same time, monsoon will be making onset the last in the western Rajasthan, which is actually 15th July. So, uh, you should understand this, after making onset in June 1 in Malabar coast, it takes around 1 month and 15 days to make onset in the western Rajasthan. So, western Rajasthan is the last place where monsoon is made, monsoon makes onset and Malabar coast, the first place where monsoon makes onset, right? So, like, you know, uh, from this you have to remember that the onset or the beginning of the monsoon is, is progressive. It's not all at once. All the region, all the regions doesn't get rainfall all at once. Rather than that, they get rainfall in a progressive way. Now, let's look at the retreating monsoon. Now, during retreating season or retreating monsoon, what happens is that uh, due to the apparent movement of sun, the IT season will be moving towards south. So does the trade wind, the no east, northern trade wind, it will be moving towards south. So the first place, like the retreating monsoon, the first place that, will, the, I mean the retreating will be taking place in the western Rajasthan. If you remember, the western Rajasthan, the onset was made last, right? The last place where the onset was made was western Rajasthan. And the first place from where the retreating takes place is also the western Rajasthan. And progressively, the monsoons, will, I mean the winds will be retreating from here and the rainfall will be reduced, right? And the last place from where the, on, I mean, re, I mean from where the monsoon wind is retreating is the Tamil Nadu's eastern coast, right? So progressively, like initially it will be retreating from the western Rajasthan, then from the central regions, then from the eastern regions, then from the peninsular regions and last from the, the eastern coast of say Tamil Nadu. Right? So, retreating as well as onset of the monsoon is progressing and it is related to the movement of, I mean the apparent movement of sun or you can say due to the shifting of IT season. Okay. Now, if we are talking about the duration of the monsoon, duration means from the starting and all the way till the uh, end, right? From onset and from, I mean the time between onset and the retreat, we call it as like say uh, the duration of the monsoon. So, if you think about this, the place where the duration of monsoon the least is the western Rajasthan because the onset was made towards the last and the retreat started from those places. So that means the duration of monsoon is the least towards the northwestern regions. And the, as you come towards the south, the duration will be increasing because the onset was made earlier and the retreat, like it, it was taking place towards the later stage. That means the duration of monsoon will be larger towards the southern region and will be decreasing towards the north. Okay, now let's uh, take a look at the distribution of annual rainfall. Now the annual rainfall of India is dependent on both southwest monsoon as well as northeastern monsoon, right? And like you know, uh, as you might be knowing, we get predominant, we get more rainfall from the southwest monsoon more than the northeastern monsoon. The northeastern monsoon will be providing rainfall for the northeastern state as well as the eastern coast. The northeastern monsoon or the winter monsoon won't be providing rainfall for the like you know the plains or the peninsular region. The rainfall will be very less. But in the case of southwest monsoon, it will be providing more rainfall in say the western coast of western guards as well as the northeastern regions and the plains and all, right? So the annual rainfall is such that it's very high in the northeastern state as well as the western coast of like say the western guards and in the case of like our peninsular region or sorry in case of our plain regions right like if you are considering say states like uh, Bengal or like say Bihar you can see that annual rainfall is more over the uh, West Bengal uh, Bihar as it goes up the rainfall is decreasing so why it is uh, so like you know why it is taking place like this because of the nature of the southwest monsoon wind right the southwest monsoon wind enters enters the Indian subcontinent uh, from two regions, one from the 
Arabian side, right? They will be moving towards the from Arabian side towards the land regions. And another branch of the southwest monsoon will be entering the Indian subcontinent from Bay of Bengal. From Bay of Bengal through West Bengal, it will be entering India's subcontinent. So what happens is that, right? As the distance from the ocean increases, the rainfall will be decreasing. So as we move far away from the ocean, the rainfall will be less, right? And this is also related with the movement or the branches of the Indian monsoon, right? So the the annual rainfall is such that it's high in the northeastern regions and it's high in the west of the western coast. And uh, as we move from the eastern coast towards the northwestern regions, the mon the annual rainfall decreases. Now let's solve the previous equation. So here the first statement. The duration of the monsoon decreases from the southern India to northern India. So duration means the time between onset and the retreat, right? So it decreases from southern India to northern India. So if you remember that, like the onset is made first in the southern states, right? The southern India and the retreat takes place last from the southern India. So the duration will be longer in the southern India and duration will be less in the northern India. So the first statement. The duration of the monsoon decreases from southern India to northern India is actually true. Now the second statement, the amount of annual rainfall in the northern plains of the India decreases from east to west. Right? So you have to remember that uh, from east to west, the distance from the sea is increasing. And we are having a Bay of Bengal branch of the southwest monsoon entering the northern plain from the west Bengal toward those, I mean towards in that direction from east to west. So the uh, the rainfall in the northern plain will be decreasing from east to west because of the increase in distance from sea. So here in this question, both the statements are correct. Like so the answer here comes out as both one and two. So most of these questions are right, related with geography. They are not just related with any one topic, especially the climatology. Rather than that, they are all inter all interrelated. Like you know, one concept like say IT season which we will be studying in say regarding the winds, winds or such module like right, the pressure and wind in that module we will be studying the IT season and that concept is related with the uh, Indian, India's monsoon so for a person who doesn't understand the IT season or who is not having I mean enough knowledge regarding IT season it will be difficult to understand the concept regarding Indian monsoon so it's very important that you are not mugging up concepts rather than like you know you are understanding them and you are relating and you are interlinking these concepts with other concepts right like say the weather events or like Indian monsoon or here as you seen here like IT season is greatly related with the India's monsoon because it's a very important factor influencing the Indian monsoon and there are various other factors that can influence the Indian monsoon so India's Indian monsoon is an important topic both for your prelims as well as mains and we are having other previous questions both from mains as well as prelims from this topic and we'll be covering it through our videos in uh, other videos like you know when we are discussing the previous question from other years we'll be discussing the question related with the India's monsoon thank you